Have you ever felt a whisper of untapped potential stirring within you, a secret power waiting to be unleashed? What if I told you that you possess a divine gift, a reservoir of strength and wisdom that remains dormant just beneath the surface of your consciousness? Before we are able to unlock this power, consider this. The soul, that luminous spark residing within each of us, is often shrouded in the hustle and bustle of daily life. We are told of its existence, a fleeting mention in the sacred texts and ancient scriptures that speak of its immortality and divine essence. Yet how often do we pause to truly understand its nature? The soul is not just a passenger in the journey of life, it is the very essence of our being, the conductor of the orchestra that is our existence. Take for instance the parable of the prodigal son, a story that transcends cultures and generations. It tells of loss redemption, and the unfathomable depth of forgiveness. In this timeless tale, the soul's journey is mirrored in the son's return to his father's embrace, a metaphor for our own return to the divine source from which we originated. The secret power God has given us is akin to the father's unwavering love for his son, a power of unconditional love, forgiveness, and the ability to transcend our earthly limitations. In various philosophies, the soul is seen as the bridge between the material and the divine, a beacon of light guiding us through the darkness of ignorance and illusion. The ancient Greeks spoke of the soul's immortality, its eternal quest for truth and beauty. Similarly, Eastern philosophies like Buddhism and Hinduism discuss the soul's journey through samsara, the cycle of death and rebirth, emphasizing the liberation that comes from recognizing our true divine nature. But why, you might wonder, do we shy away from utilizing this secret power? The distractions of the modern world, the relentless pursuit of material success, and the fear of what we might discover within are but a few reasons. Yet, the soul, with its boundless wisdom and connection to the divine, holds the key to true fulfillment, peace, and understanding. Chapter 2. Tapping into Faith Faith, often seen as a beacon in the darkness, a compass guiding us through the stormy seas of doubt and fear, is the very essence of our connection with the divine. It is through faith that we begin to nurture this sacred relationship tapping into the secret power that God has bestowed upon us, a power that lies dormant until awakened by our belief and trust. Faith is not merely belief in the unseen, it is an active living force that shapes our perception of the world and our place within it. It is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, as beautifully articulated in the sacred texts. This profound understanding of faith reveals its dual nature as both a gift from the divine and a muscle that we must exercise and strengthen through our thoughts, actions and decisions. In the journey of nurturing our connection with the divine, faith acts as a bridge, connecting our earthly existence with the spiritual realm. It allows us to see beyond the material, to perceive the divine spark within ourselves and others, and to recognize the interconnectedness of all life. Faith teaches us humility, reminding us that we are part of a larger divine plan that unfolds in its own time and manner. The process of tapping into our faith involves quiet reflection, prayer, and meditation. These practices open the door to deeper understanding and communication with the divine. Through prayer, we express our hopes, fears, and desires, laying them at the feet of the divine and trusting in the wisdom of a higher plan. Meditation allows us to listen, to quiet the noise of the world and hear the gentle whisper of the divine speaking to our hearts. As we deepen our connection with the divine, we begin to see the world through the eyes of faith. Challenges become opportunities for growth, and obstacles are seen as lessons designed to strengthen our spirit. We learn to trust in the journey even when the path is unclear, for faith assures us that we are never alone, that the divine presence is a constant companion, guiding and protecting us. It's important to recognize that nurturing our connection with the divine is a journey that requires patience and persistence. There will be moments of doubt, times when our faith seems to waver in the face of trials and tribulations. Yet, 
It is in these moments that our faith has the potential to grow the most as we learn to lean not on our understanding but on the trust and belief in something greater than ourselves. Chapter 3 Awakening What Lies Dormant In the unfolding journey of discovering our soul's true potential and nurturing our connection with the divine through faith, we encounter a pivotal moment, the awakening of what lies dormant within us. This awakening is a transformative process, a call to recognize and activate the divine spark that resides in each of us, often obscured by the layers of fear, doubt, and the distractions of our daily lives. The concept of awakening has been a central theme in many spiritual traditions and philosophies across the world. It signifies a shift in consciousness, a moment of realization where we see beyond the illusions of our ego and the material world, to understand the profound truth of our existence and our intrinsic connection to the divine. This awakening is not just a moment of enlightenment, but a journey of continuous growth and discovery. But what exactly lies dormant within us, waiting to be awakened? It is the realization of our own divine nature, the understanding that we are not merely physical beings navigating through a material world, but spiritual entities endowed with infinite potential and connected to a higher consciousness. This realization brings with it a sense of purpose, peace, and a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life. To awaken this dormant power, we must first confront what holds us back, Fear and doubt are among the greatest obstacles on this path. Fear, in its many forms, keeps us tethered to the familiar, preventing us from stepping into the unknown where true growth occurs. Doubt erodes our confidence in ourselves and our connection to the divine, leading us to question our intuition and ignore the callings of our soul. The process of awakening requires us to delve deeply into the inner workings of our mind and heart. It involves introspection, the courage to face our fears and doubts, and the willingness to let go of the beliefs and behaviors that no longer serve us. Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who founded analytical psychology, offers a rich perspective on this journey of awakening. Jung introduced the concept of the collective unconscious, a part of the unconscious mind that is shared among beings of the same species and that houses archetypes, universal symbols and memories inherited from our ancestors. These archetypes represent fundamental human motifs of our experience as they shape both our personal development and our collective experiences. Jung believed that awakening involves recognizing and integrating these archetypal patterns into our conscious awareness. This process, which he termed individuation, is the realization of the self as a unique and whole entity distinct from the collective unconscious yet intimately connected to it. Individuation is not just about becoming aware of these universal symbols within us, but also about reconciling the opposing forces of our personality, such as the conscious and unconscious, the masculine and feminine aspects, and the persona, the mask we present to the world, with the shadow, the parts of ourselves we deny or hide from. For Jung, the path to awakening is paved with the work of exploring our inner world, confronting our shadow, and embracing our true self. This inner work requires honesty, courage, and perseverance, as it involves facing the parts of ourselves that we might prefer to ignore or reject. By acknowledging and integrating these aspects of our being, we can achieve a sense of wholeness and harmony. As we begin to awaken, we start to see the world with new eyes. The beauty and miracles of life become more apparent, Gratitude fills our hearts, and we approach our daily experiences with a sense of wonder and reverence. We realize that every moment is an opportunity to connect with the divine, to express our creativity, and to serve others in meaningful ways. This awakening is not a final destination, but a doorway to a more profound and fulfilling journey. It invites us to explore the depths of our being, to uncover the gifts and talents that lie within, and to share them with the world. It challenges us to live from a place of love, compassion, and authenticity, embodying the divine qualities that we have discovered within ourselves. Chapter 4. What is holding you back? 
before we can continue to unlock the dormant powers within, we must face formidable barriers that can halt our progress, such as fear, doubt, and the act of ignoring our inner callings. These obstacles, deeply ingrained in our psyche, often go unnoticed, yet they wield the power to keep us from realizing our full potential and embracing the divine connection that is our birthright. Fear is a pervasive force manifesting in myriad forms, from the fear of failure and rejection to the fear of the unknown and the fear of our own greatness. It is a protective mechanism, a relic of our evolutionary past designed to keep us safe from physical harm. However, in the context of our spiritual journey, fear becomes a prison, constraining our growth and limiting our experiences. It whispers tales of caution, urging us to tread the path of least resistance, to settle for the familiar and the comfortable. Doubt, on the other hand, casts shadows on our beliefs and aspirations. It questions the validity of our spiritual experiences, the authenticity of our connection with the divine, and the possibility of transcending our limitations. Doubt can be a useful tool for critical thinking and self-reflection, but when it spirals into cynicism and skepticism, it erodes our faith and leaves us feeling disconnected and adrift. The act of ignoring our inner callings and the signs from the universe is perhaps the most subtle yet destructive barrier. In the noise of our daily lives, amid the relentless pursuit of worldly success and material possessions, the gentle whispers of our soul are often drowned out. We ignore these messages, deeming them impractical or inconsequential, not realizing that they are the compass guiding us toward our true purpose and the fulfillment of our spiritual potential. Overcoming these barriers requires conscious effort and a commitment to self-discovery and growth. It begins with acknowledging their presence and understanding their origin. Reflection and mindfulness practices can illuminate the fears and doubts that lurk within, allowing us to confront and question their validity. Facing our fears involves stepping out of our comfort zones and embracing vulnerability. It means accepting the possibility of failure as a stepping stone to learning and growth, rather than a setback. Cultivating self-compassion and surrounding ourselves with supportive, like-minded individuals can provide the strength and encouragement needed to navigate through these fears. To counteract doubt, we can seek knowledge and understanding, both intellectually and experientially. Engaging with spiritual texts, Participating in communities of faith and practicing meditation and prayer can deepen our spiritual convictions and renew our sense of connection with the divine. Lastly, to avoid ignoring our inner callings, we must cultivate the art of listening, creating space in our lives for silence, reflection and meditation. It is in these quiet moments that we can hear the voice of our soul guiding us towards our divine purpose. Chapter 5 surrendering to divine will. The act of surrendering to divine will marks a significant turning point in this expedition. It represents a profound shift from striving to control every aspect of our lives to trusting in the flow of the universe and the guidance of a higher power. This surrender is not about giving up or admitting defeat, rather it's about acknowledging that the wisdom of the divine plan far surpasses our limited understanding. Surrendering to divine will requires a deep sense of faith, a belief in the benevolence of the universe and its inherent desire for our growth and fulfillment. It involves letting go of our preconceived notions of success and happiness and opening ourselves to the possibilities that divine timing brings. This process can be both liberating and daunting, for it entails releasing the illusion of control, a notion deeply embedded in the human psyche. The journey towards surrender is often marked by moments of resistance. Our egos, accustomed to the driver's seat, rebel against the idea of taking a back seat to an unseen force. We fear losing our autonomy, concerned that surrender might lead to passivity or inaction. Yet, true surrender is anything but passive. It is an active engagement with life, guided by an inner trust that all experiences, whether perceived as good or bad, are opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. In the practice of surrendering, prayer and meditation emerge as vital tools. 
They allow us to communicate our desires, fears, and gratitude to the divine, fostering a two-way relationship that nurtures our trust and reliance on a higher power. Through meditation, we cultivate the silence necessary to hear the divine whisper, guiding our steps and soothing our anxieties with the reassurance that we are never alone. As we grow in our ability to surrender, we begin to witness the unfolding of divine will in our lives. Synchronicities and seemingly coincidental events remind us of the interconnectedness of all things and the meticulous care with which our lives are woven into the tapestry of the universe. We recognize that our journey is not solely our own, but part of a grand divine orchestration. The act of surrendering transforms our relationship with the divine from one of distant reverence to intimate trust. We come to understand that divine will is not a force to be feared or resisted, but a current that carries us toward our highest good. In this state of surrender, our prayers shift from pleas for specific outcomes to requests for guidance and strength to accept whatever comes our way, knowing that it serves our ultimate growth. Chapter 6. Mastering Your Thoughts and Mind In order to actually utilize the dormant gift, mastering your mind and thoughts becomes crucial. Mastering our thoughts and mind is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a profound spiritual practice that empowers us to harness the creative force within us and align our thoughts with the divine will. Our thoughts, like seeds planted in the fertile soil of our minds, have the power to shape our reality. They are the building blocks of our experiences, the architects of our destiny. Yet, left untamed, they can become unruly weeds, choking the garden of our soul with negativity, fear and doubt. Mastering our thoughts begins with awareness, an attentive observation of the thoughts that arise within us without judgment or attachment. Through mindfulness practices such as meditation and breath awareness, we learn to cultivate a spacious presence, creating a gap between stimulus and response where we can consciously choose our thoughts. In the realm of spirituality, thoughts are not merely fleeting mental phenomena, but energetic vibrations that reverberate throughout the universe, like attracts like, and the thoughts we dwell upon magnetize corresponding experiences into our lives. By consciously directing our thoughts towards love, gratitude and abundance, we align ourselves with the divine flow, inviting blessings and miracles into our reality. Yet mastering our thoughts requires more than mere positivity. It necessitates a fundamental shift in our perception of reality. It involves recognizing the inherent interconnectedness of all things and the divinity that resides within each being. When we see ourselves and others through the lens of compassion and empathy, our thoughts naturally gravitate towards unity and harmony. The mind, with its incessant chatter and fluctuating emotions, can often feel like a turbulent sea tossing us about amidst the storms of life. Yet beneath the surface tumult lies a deep reservoir of inner peace and wisdom waiting to be tapped into. Through practices such as self-inquiry and introspection, we can dive into the depths of our subconscious mind, uncovering the limiting beliefs and conditioning that hold us back from realizing our full potential. To master our minds is to become the sovereign rulers of our inner kingdom, reigning with wisdom, compassion and discernment. It is a journey of self-mastery, requiring patience, persistence and a willingness to confront the shadows that lurk within. As we learn to navigate the labyrinth of our minds with grace and humility, we discover the secret power that God has bestowed upon us, the power to create our reality and manifest our highest aspirations. Chapter 7. Never forget your higher purpose. One thing you must never forget is your higher purpose. It is essential to reflect on the essence of our higher purpose and the profound impact it has on our lives and the world around us. Our higher purpose is not merely a lofty ideal or a distant goal, but a guiding light that illuminates our path and infuses our existence with meaning and significance. At the core of our higher purpose lies the recognition of our interconnectedness with all of creation. We are not isolated islands, but integral threads in the tapestry of life, each playing a unique role in the unfolding of the divine plan. Our purpose emerges from this deep understanding, guiding us to live in alignment with our highest values and aspirations. 
discovering our higher purpose is a deeply personal journey, one that unfolds gradually as we peel away the layers of conditioning and societal expectations that obscure our true selves. It requires introspection, reflection, and a willingness to listen to the whispers of our soul. Our purpose may manifest in various forms, through our relationships, our work, our creative endeavors, or our service to others. Yet regardless of its expression, our purpose ultimately boils down to one simple truth, to be vessels of love and light in a world that often feels dark and divided. Living in alignment with our higher purpose is not always easy. It requires courage to step outside our comfort zones, to challenge the status quo, and to follow the callings of our heart, even when they seem to defy logic or reason. Yet, it is in these moments of authenticity and vulnerability that we truly shine, radiating the light of our divine essence for all to see. Our higher purpose is not static but dynamic, evolving as we grow and evolve on our spiritual journey. It is a lifelong quest, a journey of self-discovery and self-transformation that invites us to continually expand our hearts and minds, embracing the fullness of our humanity while striving for the highest expression of our divinity. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it can be easy to lose sight of our higher purpose, to become ensnared in the distractions and responsibilities that demand our attention. Yet it is precisely in these moments of forgetfulness that we must anchor ourselves in the truth of who we are and why we are here. We must remind ourselves that our lives are not random or meaningless, but imbued with purpose and significance, guided by a divine intelligence far greater than our own. As we conclude our series, let us carry with us the wisdom gleaned from our journey, the recognition of our soul's power, the nurturing of our connection with the divine, the awakening of what lies dormant within, the surrender to divine will, and the mastery of our thoughts and minds. And above all, let us never forget our higher purpose, the sacred mission that calls us forth to be agents of love, healing and transformation in a world yearning for light. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.